This is Billy, the Disney guy, and for today's video, let's talk about Artemis Fowl. By the way, haven't read the books. It is the new Disney Plus original that was going to be in cinemas, but due to the current situation, it was put onto Disney Plus as a Disney Plus original. Duh. And yeah, gotta say, that was the right move. I gotta be honest, I wasn't planning on seeing this movie, but since the Peyton movie got delayed, which is indirect from the COVID situation, being that it led to Hamilton being put on much earlier than anticipated. Oh, and I don't even know what a Hamilton is, but Emma Dudabug, you should go follow her, by the way. She talked about it a lot on our lives. That's So that's how I know. Love your vids, by the way. Anyway, I reviewed this recently on Twitter, but this is more of an in-depth review. Let me just say this. I was really anticipating and still am the movie starring Peyton Elizabeth Lee from Andy Mack, which, like I said, got pushed back to September 25th. And honestly, I'm sad. But I decided today I'm going to review this movie so I can start my movie reviewing career. Don't worry, this whole channel isn't going to be only reviews, but it'd be good, no? So expect more in the future. Okay, after that whole spiel, was the movie bad? No, it wasn't. I definitely did have times where I enjoyed it enough, but I wouldn't say it's amazing. If you're looking for a fun action movie for kids with fairy tales, futuristic technology, impressive special effects, beautiful music, and stunning scenescapes, you've come to the right place. If you wanted to see the current cunning Artemis who struggles to overcome his own ego, then his quest to steal gold from the fairy underworld, you'll be disappointed. So, maybe the sequel could be more about Artemis' battle with his own ego. That'd be cool to set it apart. But anyway, the special effects are top-notch and wouldn't expect anything less with a budget of $125 million, over double of a typical Disney Plus original. Now onto the spoiler section, and trust me, there's not much spoiler stuff, I'm gonna say. Uh, anyway, but when Artie finds out his dad may be a criminal, I literally had the chills. There will be some cloud that'll bring a few drizzles now and again, especially along the western and northern coast. Now back to our main story. Authorities today launched a worldwide manhunt for Artemis Fowl, a reclusive businessman, but now a controversial public figure whose super yacht, the Owl Star, was found abandoned last night in the South China Seas. Fowl is a known collector and antiquities dealer, but in dramatic new revelations, he is also suspected to have been behind some of the biggest robberies of the past 10 years including the disappearance of the priceless Rosetta Stone from the British Museum, the irreplaceable 14th century Bruce Harp, and the iconic Book of Kells from Trinity College, Dublin. No sign of struggle was found aboard the Owl Star, and her owner's fate entirely unknown. Investigations are on. My dad. Artemis. Where is he, Dom? We don't know. I have people on the way to the wreck as we speak. And the remaining question, <laughs> Artemis Fowl, <laughs> antiquities dealer or criminal mastermind? How dare they! He's not a criminal! He's my dad! He's my dad! Dad! Honestly, best scene in the movie? Well, he was doing it for the right reasons that he stole the acula. Anyway, uh, I almost cried at the end, and that's basically it. <laughs> so, what's my rating? A 6.5 out of 10. Yes, good, not amazing. Just don't expect too much, and you'll have a good time. That has been Billy the Disney Guy. Well, like this video if you thought it was good. Subscribe if you want to see more. Make sure the bell icon is on for the notifications. And with the likelihood of a sequel, um, it better be better than the first. All I'm saying. Bye.